All right, this is fifth grade, module two, lesson 23. And we're dividing, and we are now getting these two big, huge two- and three-digit quotients. So our answers are really big. And, of course, we're going to be checking using multiplication. So uh, to begin, we're going to divide. And we're going to write our division problem, 9,962 divided by 41. And I'm going to do it a little bit different from the engage official engage technique. And I'm going to estimate our 41 to be 40. And I'm going to do my skip counting. Now, we know that you can't take 9,000 and divide it by 41. We wouldn't have groups. Uh, but we can take 999. So that's really uh, 99 hundredths. And we can do 99 hundreds divided into four group, 41 groups. And so we're going to use estimation to estimate what our quotient is. So we're going to do 40, 80, 120. And at that point, we can stop because we've passed our goal of 99. So we're going to estimate that our quotient will be 2. So I'm going to put a 2 right here. And then way over here in scratch paper, I'm going to do 41 times 2. That equals 82. So technically speaking, that's 82 hundreds. And then we subtract. So 9 minus 2 is 7, and 9 minus 8 is 1. So that's technically, that's 17 hundreds. And now we're going to bring down our tens. So now we have 176 tens. And we can continue our skip counting, 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, and oops, at that point, we've passed our goal of 176. So the quotient we're going to estimate now is 4. So we're going to put the 4 right here, and let's see how close we were. So we're going to do 41 times 4. That's 164. That doesn't go over our 176, so we're cool. 164, subtract. 6 minus 4 is 2. 7 minus 6 is 1. So technically, that's 12 tens that we have left over. And now we're going to add in the 2s, I mean the 1s, which is 2. We have 2 one in the 1s place. So now we have 122. And we can look at our skip counting. And it really looks like um, our estimation should be 3 for our quotient. So we're going to put 3 up here. And let's do 41 times 3. And that equals 123. Ooh, too much. So we know we have to back down and erase that 3 and make it a 2, which we already know the answer to. It's 82. And now we subtract to get our remainder. 2 minus 2 is 0. 12 minus 8 is 4. So our answer is 242, remainder 4. And now we really need to check our multiplication. So let's, let's do that. So we're going to multiply 242 times 41. And I'm going to do that really quick. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. Put our 0. 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 4 is 16, carry the 1, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, we add, we get 9,922, and then take that 9,922, add in our remainder of 40, and that gives us 9,962, and since that is our dividend, that tells us that we're probably correct. And so the answer is 242, remainder 40. All right, let's practice our division using a word problem. So it says a political gathering in South America held 788 people. Each of South America's 14 countries we're equally represented. That word equally means we're probably going to divide. 
and the remaining people were guests from the United States. How many guests were from the United States? So really what we're asked to do is we're being asked to divide 788 by 14, but the important thing that the question is asking is what is the remainder going to be? So let's divide. And I'm going to take 14, and uh, because I'm pretty good with my uh, skip counting, I'm going to round that to 15. And let's do our skip counting with 15. So 15, 30, 45, 60. So I'm thinking of my clock. You know, when I'm looking at a clock, the hands of a clock. So that's 15, 30, 45, 60. And so the next one would be 75 and then 90. And I'm going to stop there because it looks like my estimation should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It should be about 5. So I'm going to put the 5 here. And let's do some multiplying 14 times 5 to see how close our estimation was. So 5 times 4 is 20. Carry the 2. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 is 70. And so it doesn't go over 78, so that means it was a good estimation for our quotient. And then I subtract 78 minus 70 is 8. I drop the 8, so 14 goes into 88. And again, I can see that right here, it really looks like our estimation should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 again. So I'm going to put 5, and we already know that the answer is 70 if we multiply 14 by 5. And then when we subtract, we get 18. Ah, but 18 is bigger than 14. So that really means I could cross off that 5 and do it one more time. I can go in one more time. So I'm going to bump up that 5 to a 6, and which means I'm going to subtract an extra 14. And when I do that, I get a remainder of 4. So really, our answer is 56 remainder 4. And now let's check to make sure that we are... Oh, no, we don't need to check. Uh, well, we should check, but I'm not going to check on this video because uh, at this point it says how many guests were from the United States, and so that's the remainder. So there were four guests from the United States. Now, ideally, what we would do is we would check it by multiplying 56 times 14 we would do 56 times 14, and then once we get that answer, we would then add in 4 to see if we really do get as our answer 788. But at this point, we're going to stop and just say our answer is 4 guests from the United States. And so that is our... Oops, whoa, moving around, whoa... That is our fifth grade, Module 2, Lesson 23.